I've decided to spend 12 days doing things I've never done before. Today I'm jumping out of a small white plane, strapped to a bloke I've never met. Good luck, good luck mate. Hope it all works, hope the bloody parachute works. <laughs> and for insurance, I brought my mum along. She's the safety police. I wonder if Daddy's going to wear a helmet, mate. Eh? Do they all wear helmets? Good question, Mum. They're showing two key things. They're smiling and they're alive. That's all that needs to happen. This is day 10 of 12 days of newness. Yeah, this is very un-me, really. So there's no skill involved for me. I'm just an idiot strapped to someone who knows what they're doing. Paying them lots of money, and then we're jumping out of a plane. I just filled out a waiver. I have no rights now. <laughs> this was a place I'd never been. It seemed to be a sanctuary of calm and orderly processes. The importance of details before folks hopped in a small plane with the seats taken out. As a man interested in subcultures, sitting and watching was loaded with insight. I reckon you probably all wish you were in a James Bond movie, actually. My boots might fly off. Be funny. Keep your eye for a pair of boots. You might kill a cow. Will his boots come off on his way down? This is your half? Yep. And this is the instructor's half. Okay. Can you spot the obvious difference? Yep. Okay. What's the difference? You've got a parachute. Yes. I mean, it's amazing that you can do that and go up with someone you don't even know. You don't know if they're good or bad, or they're going to run out of fuel in the plane. You don't even have your own parachute. I like onesies. What do you think, love? Big red suit? Make it firm, he's not having any more children. Jeez, I, I thought it was pretty tight around the knackers a minute ago, but it just yeah, got tighter. Be. But a banana like you've never bananaed in your life. Just, yeah, yeah how good is it? Really comfortable. I love bananaing. I hope they've refueled the plane. He's been up a few times. <laughs> what if the pilots had a rest? The pilot's wearing a passion fruit. I'm not going to jinx How that. scary is that? Hmm, I'm pretty sure mum means parachute. I'm sure he's very good. Our pilot looks to be about 12 years of age. You're very youthful. And it's his first day of flying. First day of flying. <laughs> <laughs> so you're the pilot? Yes. I've come to watch my son do his first jump. Oh, OK. <laughs> Are you exhausted? Let's be serious for a moment. In the hangar was my mum, who created me, and my daughter, who I helped create. There was a lot at stake here. And it all comes down to a bloke I'm strapped to having a working passion fruit. I mean parachute. Whatever, as long as it works. I was hoping there'd be Pepsi Max or Mountain Dew or something written on the sides. The worst part's all like anything is thinking about it until it happens. Yes. Mind you, I'll be happy to see the parachute open. That initial jump, bloody hell, it's just... I can't yeah. even go up a ladder. There they go, look. Lift off. Oops. Say bye, bye, Daddy. Oops. Oops. I like planes. Do you like planes? Yeah. Where are you guys from? Warrigal. He's, he's doing a YouTube for it. Oh, okay. They do lots of YouTubes. Yep. And I've come as the mother to babysit. Ah, oh, right. You're all mic'd up as well. Oh, yeah, they'll catch some nasty comment I'll have to say about how mad it is. Right. So this is what it feels like to be almost jumping out of a plane. It's good. I'm finally living the Patrick Swayze life my name suggests. Bodie. People call me Bodie, like Bodie Zypher from Point Break. I've got to say, though, there's not a piece of me that's nervous. What's there to be nervous about? There's nothing I really have to do or, or remember. I just have to have the ability to plummet to Earth. Check.
There's no doubt about it. Freefall is remarkable. Then all of a sudden the parafruit gets deployed and all is calm. That was fun earth, mate. Excellent. That first, that first 10 seconds was, holy shit, this is <laughs> good. It was indeed an excellent day of newness. Plummeting towards the ground, my place of sustenance and family and experiences and my reason for living. As we gently descended, my first thought was that I wish I'd kept my mouth closed because I felt like I'd been making out with a hairdryer. Then things were far more ordinary. What occurred to me was that I needed to get back to being a dad, hang out some washing and cut up the veggies. Oh, and I think it was bin night. Which is profound, really, because having ordinary lines of thinking when floating about the sky is perhaps the most expensive thinking I've ever done. I needed to return to Earth. Oh, oh, good job! Because you know what? Life here is the best one I know. This is what I'm up to next. A wooden raft. <laughs>